Okay. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Varmithrax. I'll be your guide to the Cataclysm this evening. We're going to fire off a brand new challenge. So you can see in chat, if you're watching live, the uh, information on the challenge. This is what I call the MASH challenge. I'm going to play a bionic surgeon tasked with setting up, staffing, and protecting a mobile apocalypse surgical hospital. Uh, to aid survivors in this region, my mission is to scout the local area, find and secure a suitable building, staff it with local volunteers, which I'm going to try to train up with some medical skill, and then uh, acquire the medical beds, equipment, uh, supplies, and so on, so we can assist the local surviving population. So, details of how we're going to do that, and limits, and goal, end conditions, I haven't really decided on yet. Oh, come on, screen. <laughs> No. Redraw that. Uh, this should do it. There we go. Okay. So, yeah. That's the challenge. We're going to play as Hawkeye, of course. Um, we'll see what we can do in regards to that. But uh, you can see characters up on the screen. For the world settings, I'm using fairly standard world settings I've been using recently. So I have updated to the most recent experimental build. We're up to experimental 8799. Uh, city size 10, spacing 2, so fairly largest, closest together. Probably get some cities crammed into each other. Item spawns half, like usual. Double zombie spawns, double speed evolution, wanders on. Static and random both true, and Z levels true, and all the other good stuff. So, character-wise, we're playing, like I said, Hawkeye. We are a bionic surgeon. Uh, as you can see right here, and I just did the uh, evacuation shelter survivor start basically uh, with the bionic surgeon profession and then tweaked it a little bit, took a little bit of points here and there. So we're taking imperceptive healer trait. That means I only heal 10% of the normal rates while we're sleeping. We're also a pacifist. We're an MD, which comes with the bionic surgeon. I'm not actually sure what that does benefit wise. We'll find out when we get in game. And then I had a couple extra points. We got night vision and indefatigable stats. I bumped up intelligence and one extra point into perception. Uh, and then I had a few extra points. I just tossed them into some of the early game skills, survival, cooking, electronics, computers, speed things up just a little bit that way. The big thing, of course, is the first eight of eight. And that's pretty much it. That's where we're at. So uh, let's go ahead and get things started. See what kind of world we get. Okay, hey there, person with a, uh, is that a mace? Morningstar? What you, what, what you got there? Barbed wire bat. Ah, Jerry Good with a barbed wire bat. <laughs> got a Lucille. So, shirt, socks, shoes, ooh, bike helmets, fast draw, ooh, fast draw holster. That probably means he's got a, a pistol as well. I don't often see them have holsters without pistols. So that's kind of interesting. All right, so here we are in the evac shelter start. Here is the full character. Uh, so now you can see what bionics, the bionic surgeon, comes with. We've got uh, 260 power, kind of an odd number. Autonomous surgical scalpels, the cranial flashlight, and the battery system. Uh, I'm not real impressed with the battery system, so we'll uh, see if we can add to that as time goes by. Uh, so none of these are too powerful. Uh, surgical scalpels, eh, they're okay. Uh, they count as a passive, do they? I think they used to be an activated one. Uh, so surgical grade, scal surgical grade scalpels implanted on your fingers. They allow you to make automated precise cuts that can also be used as a high quality butchering tool. That is correct. So we'll, uh, see how well that works. That's the highest level... Uh, fine cutting tool for dissection for removing CBMs and such. So that'll help us. Plus, it's a good butchering tool. I don't remember the exact values. Um, and then the cranial flashlight, eh, yeah, whatever. I may or may not use it because trying to feed regular batteries into this battery system, uh, I think you can use other batteries, but we'll see. I'm not impressed with the battery system. I've never liked this particular CBM for power gen. Um, but yeah, so that's where we are for the character sheet. Let's find out what that MD does. MD, you were just, you were just through with the administrative formalities for your residency when the cataclysm struck. Your hospital was overrun and evacuated, but there's always work for a good doctor. Well, what does that mean? <laughs> Usually when I see one of these entries, it actually does something. So if anybody knows exactly what this does, 
They usually have some kind of an associated skill, but, um, huh. I don't know. I don't know what MD does. If somebody wants to, uh, code dive or look it up, that'd be great. Be interesting to know. Other than that, like I said, imperceptive healer. We're only going to get one-tenth of our normal healing when we sleep, which hopefully is going to get offset by our really, really good uh, first aid skill. Uh, any bandages we throw on should be really effective. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. And then uh, we are pacifist, so we don't like thinking about violence. Our combat skills are going to advance pretty slow, and we get more guilt about killing. So, oh boy. Uh, beyond that, though, nothing too outside the bounds. Uh, I don't have any weird world settings or anything like that. Let's take a look at our map. That's a very important thing. Um, hmm. So we've got a homeless camp. Raiders, Ben and Barn, city up to our northeast and northwest. Not bad, I guess. One garage... Lots of gardens. Unfortunately, a pool. Construction site next to the bank. Gun store. No grocery stores in sight that I can see. And a motel. Alright, well, we'll make do. See what we can find. At least there's no uh, in sight fungal blooms or towers. Okay, say hi to a few folks and we'll get moving here. Do, 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 do. Who has wandered in? Hey there, Shidar, Sergeant Cookie, welcome back. Zen Burning, Risuman, Lorenzo. <laughs> uh, gives the bonus, oh, so the MD gives bonus with the auto dock. Alright, installing uninstall bionics. Hey, Cordans, thank you very, very much for that resub, appreciate it. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So for Bionics, it adds one to the first aid skill. Makes failures less damaging. Installation fails. Number one. Why don't they actually tell you that? There's no other way to find that information in game. So why don't why doesn't the interface actually mention any of this stuff? Cool. So no risk of faulty Bionics. Less damaging failures and. Improved ability. So similar to the... Is this the same thing the augmentation technician gets? That sounds like similar bonuses to the aug tech. Uh, well, thanks for that information. Appreciate it. <laughs> Darkfire Phoenix creeps in. Creep away! Alright, so what are we going to do here? So we're, we're set off far enough. We shouldn't have any problems from the city as long as we don't make uh, super loud noises. Here's our gear. So we start out pretty well equipped. We've got antibiotics, we've got a first aid kit, antiseptic powder, which I don't think I've ever used once in this game, some oxy, uh, smartphone, we got standard clothes, oh, we got the stethoscope even. I didn't notice that when I was setting it up. I didn't look real closely at uh, what kind of clothing and gear. I'm happy to see the stethoscope. That takes one thing off my list that we would need to go find normally. And I just need to get some mechanic skill to go with it. Alright, so we have no... Let's see, the razors... I'm not sure if the razors will... Hopefully, I think that should. It's a butchering tool and a fine cutting, so it should allow us to cut things up. Um, so we've got knives, basically. We've got 4.75 volume. Alright. So as you can tell, our big advantage is going to be uh, first aid skill and abilities for healing. Um, so I'm hoping that... Uh, I've played with Imperceptive Healer a number of times in the past. I like playing with the lower healing rates. It just feels closer to realistic. Being able to go from nearly dead to full health in one evening's sleep just seems a little weird. Um, so I like playing with the in Imperceptive and poor healer traits. And then Pacifist is going to really slow down our combat ability. So it's going to be interesting. We have no combat abilities, no movement abilities, none of that kind of stuff. So I'm going to have to kind of adapt my my plans and my normal patterns for uh, that occasion. Um, 
We've got things like Survival 2, Cooking 2, so that immediately puts us in reach of some of the uh, early game recipes for like pine needles and that kind of stuff. Um, none of the rest of that's too impressive, so we've got a lot of work ahead of us. We do have a forest not too far off. Hey there, Six Ten. Welcome. Why does it say three over two zero? That's because based on your clothing, you get bonuses to your dodge. So if I get completely naked, this dodge number will go up. If I start putting clothes and gear on, the dodge number goes down. Eventually, usually, the dodge number is going to be lower than whatever your skill is. So if you've got five dodge, for example, for the skill, but you're packing heavy survivor gear and rucksacks and so on, you're going to have like a zero or a one dodge out of five skill. But early game, it tends to be the reverse. You get bonus dodge for being lightly encumbered, basically. So that's why this number is higher than the, uh, the skill number. All right. Uh, we're going to make that number go away pretty quick, though, because uh, we're, we're going to need to. So first thing we're going to do, of course, let's chat with the NPC. See, I have no real bonuses or abilities to try to convert this NPC. I didn't start with any of the quest items, so we'll see just what it allows us. Um... Hmm. Let's check the building. Now, uh, we'll go ahead and chat with him first. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, <laughs> drop your weapon, get out or I'll kill you. What's the matter? Oh boy. Go kill his mommy. Sure. Want to share some equipment? Solder? <laughs> Alright. Sure, thanks. Uh, I'll be back soon. All right. Well, I, I don't need solder right now. We'll, we'll sort that out later. Let's take a look at the uh, shelter real quick. See what our options are. Nothing. We got the blanket and the jacket. That's okay. And downstairs. Do we have any zombies? Got a sweater. And some bandages. Cool. All right. Not, not bad. Do I want to set up downstairs? Uh, newer players, I always recommend they do so. I, given this this situation map-wise, I, I don't know if I would bother, even if I tear down everything. Let's pretend I'm going to, though. Um, let's activate that first aid kit. Grab just what I actually care about for the short term. Need a disinfectant and the aspirin. All right, so we know the downstairs is clear. We got uh, just one or two things in the lockers. How do we want to go about this? Um, Take a look outside real quick. Nothing, nothing but some beagles. All right, so we're pretty much completely clear. Let's uh, start tearing down some things. Those two. All right, let's wield us a heavy stick. Good old strength eight. What do I need to take apart? I forget the strings. That's right. String. And all 
also do cheat. Alright, so there's the makeshift hammer. Go ahead and use the stick and the string. Next up, the screwdriver. Stick is fine. Next up, the crow. Whoops, spell it right here. Crowbar. And give me some lockpicks. I need some more scrap metal. Um. Smash one more. And we're going to disassemble one. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, fab one. So now we have covered the major items. We've got the lock picks, we've got the crowbar, we've got the hammer and the screwdriver. That's pretty much the most important four items, I think. Um, we have no real weapon. Let's go with the cudgel. Maybe stick again. Okay, so we've got a melee weapon. We've got the important tools. We've got medical gear. Next thing, let's go upstairs. And we'll de deconstruct the uh, standing tank to get the 60 liter tanks. I'm gonna leave one right here. going to do this. I'm still debating with myself whether I want to go downstairs or not. about the faucet. Oh, they gave us a bottle of tequila. Cool. Take apart the floor panel. Grab up a bunch of the parts. Sheet metal and scrap metal versus more scrap metal. That'll do for now. All right, let's pop back downstairs for a second. Uh, butcher, none of that. Sort category. disassembly tools. Yeah, I think that's where I'm going to run into a problem with trying to use the scalpels and such. Doesn't count it.
time is it? 1.30 already. <laughs> Alright, tailoring skill is zero currently. Let's work on that. Let's do the makeshift bandages first. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta remember, I gotta keep doing that. Alright, there's tailoring level one. Next up, arm warmers. I'm gonna need lots of rags. Tailoring two and two. Come here, duffel bag. I needs you. Uh-oh. I saw a zombie out there somewhere. Okay. 518. We've got the duffel bag. We've got the brazier. We need to go secure some water. Um, let's... There's the tough zombie. Up to the northwest. We're going to take a trip. Oops, do I have... I do not. Let's go back in. <laughs> Alright, now we'll head south. Head into the forest. Do -do 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 -do. All right, Forrest, show me. Hey, look at that. Nice, convenient water puddle. Um, let's leave this here for the moment and go and turn on. All right, so that's all on. I'm going to go grab some... Uh, some stuffs from the bushes and particularly the pine trees. Body bag? I don't remember seeing a body bag before. I don't care about. It's about 20 of those. All right, back to get our water. Seven o'clock, in dark. I don't have a fire source, do I? I do not. Well, that's gonna make this a bit of a cold night. Okay, well, we got a few things taken care of. Now we're hungry, thirsty, and I don't have a lot to um, help deal with that. Didn't quite time this out properly. 
Uh, but we're gonna have to go do some night raiding up on the town anyway, so not that big a deal, I don't think. Uh, let's get our stamina back. Do, do, do. And now we're famished. Hmm. It seemed to have gone by awful quick. How did we get famished and very thirsty so fast? Was it just being overloaded carrying that thing? must be what happened there. They must have changed the code at some point, because we shouldn't be famished this quickly. Uh, 12 hours famished uh, without any kind of traits or anything that's modifying that. That seems a little odd, so I, I think that's what happened. Um, so now the problem we're going to have is a matter of uh, timing. Let's uh, relocate this stuff. Drop all of these. What can we do with a body bag? Large human sized rectangular bag made of strong plastic with a zipper in the middle used to hold a dead body. Hey there, Dragon Man. Thank you much. <laughs> I assume I could take this thing apart. Rigid, no. Contents increase volume. Con container can store 25 liters. Volume 1. What does that mean? <laughs> can you can you wear this thing? No. Can you wield this thing? What, what, what do you do with this thing? Huh. Well, I'll probably end up hopefully chopping it up for plastic, but uh, we'll see. All right, so we got a bunch accomplished. Now it's nighttime. We definitely have to go uh, go do some night raiding up in the town. Uh, I'm debating which way I want to go. I can go north along the road. Um, there's a pizza parlor here that would actually be pretty good to get to. Same with that garage. The pool is going to be a problem. There's going to be a lot of zombies near the pool. I'd also like to hit that construction site. Garage and a construction site right next to each other. There's a lot of potential goodies between those buildings. So I think that's the way I'm going to head. We'll head up the road. We'll see if we can get to these houses and then the garage and construction site and pizza parlor. That'll give me a chance at some cooking implements and some food, some pizzas. Um, hopefully we can also get a hold of uh, some uh, fire making implements. Alright, so... Body bag's just an ordinary container. A container how, though? I mean, just keeping the body bag in my inventory is not raising the volume I can carry. So, I, I, I'm a... I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> Either old fart. Did you leave your britches at my house? Nah, I don't think so. Pretty sure not. Alright, let's take an aspirin. Um, so I'm going to try to not get into a fight. We've got medical gear, so we don't have to worry too much about things. Any damage I take, though, is dangerous just because of the slow healing rate. No sense in waiting. Let's go ahead and get moving. So for night vision range, we should have five cut down by one because of the snow flurry. So one, two, three, four. That's correct. We'll turn safe mode on and we'll just fast move our way up the road here. Right up until we... Turrets! <laughs> they put a roadblock right in front of me. Oh, you bad, bad game, you. Roadblock. Hey there, roadblock. It's been firing away. It's right around here, I think. Well, yeah, let's go. Let's go south of it. It's making a lot of noise. It's uh, kind of good for me, I guess. They're gonna run out of uh, ammo relatively quickly. Not seeing too much in the way of gear so far. Diver's watch, leather pants. Hmm, there's a backpack, but I can make backpacks here real quick anyway. Shady zombie. 
Alright, well, we'll remember it's there. Take advantage of it as we can. Hey there, Spitter Zombie! Yep, he spotted me. Alright. Um, well, it's looking like this is going to be one of those abandoned houses with all the crates inside. Let's see. How close am I? 14. Don't want to get any closer than that. But I need to get past this spitter before he kicks out another... Ah, another one of those. <laughs> Come on, game! What the hell? <laughs> so, first zombie I see is a uh, tough zombie, not a big deal, just wandering around outside. Second zombie, spitter. Third zombie, spitter. <laughs> No, Draco, this is not a PR challenge. <laughs> um, and I wanted whatever was in that, uh, that thing there. Clam chowder. I wanted the clam chowder. Now I gotta dodge around stupid spitters. Right from the get-go. Underwear, huh? Definitely take that and the blankets. And I have to smash my way out. Smash my way back in. That's not ideal. I haven't quite finished this place. Let's go around. Make sure we're not running. Got something chasing me. Coming up on the pizza restaurant. Alright, pizza restaurant. Be good to me. What you got? Pepper, pepper, pizzas. Yep, yeah, vegetable pizzas. Flour. More flour. Some sausages, some sardines, and soap and a towel. Alright, not bad. And some stoves. But I've already got my brazier. And uh, if you didn't know, you can take these things apart to get 60 liter tanks also. But I've already got that covered. Um, don't feel a big need to go up on the roof. Everything's frozen, which is a bit of a problem. Let's go ahead and mark this one off. See if I can get back out of here without attracting attention. Oh, it's one of those indoor pools. Alright, well, that works. So, is the door on this? Nope. Uh, so that means... Berry can's good. That means the front is here and the door I want is on the street side, which is bad. I think I'm going to make the noise here. I think it's a small welding tank, huh? Three pounds, one volume, sure. Good old steel jerry can is fairly awesome. UPS recharging station, polisher, and a repair kit. We'll take it. We'll unload it. We'll leave that for now. I uh, can't remember what those give you when you deconstruct them. Goggles is good. All right, somebody's coming in after me. Screwdriver and an alternator. Don't need... Um, can work, but, uh, where are you at, Shady? There's the Shady. Let's go. Whoops! My bad. 
<laughs> That's a massive herd of shadies. Um, all right, let's get down here and get the cudgel out. Come get me, shadies. Come on, work your way down into this corner. All right, fun load. Nothing in the lockers. All right, fine. Uh, let's make a note here. Note. Steel jerry can. And yes, charging. At some point, I probably need to try to kill some zombies. If nothing, no other reason just to try to get uh, some of the basic tools, matches, or lighter, things like that. Um, but for the moment, we're just going to do houses and all that. So let's try to get across the street to the construction sites. Oh! Come on, Hack Pro! Hack Pro! Matchbook! Two doses! <laughs> all inventory. Oh, never mind. Lots of matchbooks. So we got that problem solved. Um, it's also a good chance for steel chains if you're ever looking for steel chains. So we'll take the potassium. Take the larger of the matchbooks. That'll be plenty. Definitely the gallon jug. Mm, sure, we'll take the marbles. Alright, it's not bad. Now we got our fire making tool. Is this the one that's the 2x4? Shovel. Alright, take a shovel. Gas, battery, wheels, security systems broke. Uh oh, this thing's drivable. Hmm. Hmm. Drivable vehicle right outside of the construction site. I'll remember that position. Hopefully the shadies don't pile into it while they're chasing me. Stop running. Pitchfork 18 Pierce. <laughs> Disarm and medium block, huh? Um, no reach attack. Oh, it does have reach attack. Well, that sounds fun. Let's let's try stabbing things with a pitchfork for a little bit. That sounds entertaining. Where'd you go, pitchfork? There it is. Under tools. Nail gun. Don't care about a nail gun. Trucker and trucker brute are in the area. That really all that's here? Leave me alone, shadies. Leave me alone. Lots of explosions to the north. Alright, I guess that is all that's here. So we're done with that. So we're going to try to get into this building if we can. What's in there? Boomer? Boomer's going to blind me. Messing with the doors. More bandages. Ah, uh, we're gonna get blinded anyway. Yep. <laughs> Time to apply the towel. If you weren't aware, towels will uh, cure that blindness problem. Ah, he got to there. Got to it right before I could get to him. Or get the door closed. Spider basement! All right, I don't want to deal with the spider basement right now. All right, so we've seen that one. We weren't able to fully clear that one. This one I'm going to call done, except for the spider basement. We are standing at a clothing store. That could be useful. Trying to work our way around to the front of the clothing store. Um, all right, let's, too much activity there right now. I just don't want to deal with, we've already taken a bar of damage to our torso. That's about as much as damage as we can take and hope to get it all healed up by the uh, end of the night, barring uh, me putting a lot of bandaging and stuff on it. 
Got a blanket. Let me grab a pillow. Either is Ray. Welcome. Ah, fire making is definitely covered. Uh, grabber. Good old standby. Mustard, cranberry, cheese. Don't care about that. Um, do I care about disassembling? Whoa! Stop grabby grabbing me. What's uh what's making all this light right here? They they punched a turret all the way out into the field. <laughs> it's always funny when that happens. Uh, so that's probably the turret that used to be here, and it's been punched so many times it's now up in this area. Hey there, old fart. Thanks for the follow. So, yeah. Uh, they have a hard time killing it because of the armor, and uh, when something like a brute punches it, it moves it. So it's been moved all the way up to this position now. It's out of bullets, so that's why those things aren't dead. Alright, so we're going to call this one done. Let's go... What time is it? 10.30 p.m. Still pretty early. Do we have anything on us we can eat? Nope. Alright. That thing's making a good distraction. What keeps firing? I don't know that that's a minefield. I'm wondering if that's a tank drone or something. Mochi Crunk. Welcome. About the other way. And that's one of these places. Let's see. Six shooter, no thanks. What's our space doing? Seven liters left. Nothing here. Uh oh. Smoke zombie. That I don't want to deal with. A cot. Hmm. Thirteen pounds, two volume, military style fold up cot. While it may not be quite as comfortable as a bed, it's better than slumming it on the ground. Huh. Um Yeah, that, that might be worth taking just to keep me from having to build a makeshift bed or anything in the shelter. I think I'm gonna go back out the other side. We're gonna call this one done. We're gonna try to work our way up to the next house. We're gonna have to head back towards base here pretty quick though. We're already at uh, twenty-nine out of thirty-four. Already got a screwdriver. A wrench would be really useful. They'd be so kind. Leather pants that fit. We'll wear those. Take those back with us. And a peacoat that fits. Um, sure. All right. There's one of the things I needed. Open for a pot, but I'll take a frying pan as an interim. Under the hood! Under the hood! Mechanic skill! Alright, this one's done. I think I'm gonna go diagonal down, diagonal down, and then head back to base. What do we got? Submachine gun enthusiast, huh? Uh, survivor zombie and a smoker zombie in the area, though. Whoops, and something's big enough to knock down walls. 
Hmm. We might have to go out and around instead. Whoops. Alright, that's enough. south, like I said. This thing's just fast enough to get to me. Alright, house. I need to get inside here. Whoops. Back to walk. I don't have a uh, flashlight. Whoa! Well, now we're done. <laughs> it's nice knowing you. I'm trapped in the back corner of the uh, laundry basement <laughs> with a hulk between me and the exit. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> huh. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's bad. That is bad. Do, 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 do. Give me one second while I try to camera to fix things here. All right. So he can only do the super punch so often. There's a small chance I can still get around him. It's going to depend on if he gets into that doorway first. This is going to suck pretty bad, though, no matter what. First, I'm, I'm floored. I'm stunned. So I've got to stand up. Got to go to run mode. I got to get into the door and move to the space here before he advances. If I don't make it that far... As long as I get to here, I'm okay. Because it doesn't matter which of these two spaces he's in. I'll be able to get around him. So, we're not dead yet. Just depends on if I can get around him before the next super hit comes in. But we're going to get hurt pretty bad. Alright. Do I have enough stamina to get me to the front, get me to the door? Oh, shit. This guy's fast. We're already at, uh... Yeah, we're going to die. I just got no way to stop him. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Absolutely nothing I could have done. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> things were going pretty awesome right up until that. Just a random surprise Hulk in the basement. I don't think he came downstairs with me. It's possible he did. I heard something making noise somewhere, but um, I don't know if he followed me down from upstairs or if he was in this basement and mashing things up the whole time, but that was the worst spot for him to be in. And I thought I'd be able to outrun him, but uh, yeah, if, if I couldn't get even a space away from him, it was just going to be impossible. There was no way I could get distance on him. So that's kind of rude. There you go. That's one way to end a run. <laughs> uh, the timing on that was just hilarious, though. Everything was going good right up until it wasn't. Well, world. Reset. New game. Presets. Okay, we're back in. NPC doesn't look nearly as interesting. <laughs> oh, a subject suit. Well, yeah, that's uh, that's not nearly as interesting. Let's take a look at our map. Ooh, what do we got this time? That's kind of interesting looking. We got a lab to our north. We're tucked back in the woods, which is good, I guess. Not too far from the town. Some houses, motel, 
Good old school we can raid. Home improvement store. Another motel. Alright. You can work with it. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Hulk smash! Hulk smash is what happened. <laughs> the worst case scenario. Surprise Hulk. In a place where I had no maneuverability. <laughs> There's no tactics, no strategy, no amount of experience is going to get you out of that. <laughs> Just the uh, absolute worst circumstance for having a, uh, a super bad zombie show up on you. I was tucked into the uh, back corner, the laundry corridor in the back of the uh, rec basement. So I had no choice but to walk. Th I had to walk into him, around him, around him, around him. So he got one, two, three, like four hits on me before I could even start to try to break contact, and by then my pain was so high and such, I couldn't maneuver to uh, get even a single space of distance from him, so... He just flat punched me to death, quick and easy. Nothing I could have done differently. Alright, so, well, you guys get to watch me redo the beginning of this thing all over again. You know, I'm gonna have to think how much... Yeah, I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing, because I can't do much during the daytime. Uh, night raiding is still, even with the, what just happened, night raiding is still the much better circumstance. Even were I day raiding, that's, I still would have got uh, likely surprised in that kind of a situation. <laughs> Not quite as bad, but uh, yeah, that was that was just funny. Oh, uh, what's the matter? Doo -doo -doo. Oh no. Not the Jabberwock, not when it's put me right next to the forest. Oh, crap. So the way the Jabberwock quest works is it usually spawns in the forest closest to wherever you're standing. <laughs> I'm already directly adjacent to a bunch of forests, so it's likely to put it right on top of me in one of these uh, forest squares right around me. Which is very bad. If it puts it a little ways away, you can kind of use it to your advantage. Yeah, it's only if I accept the quest. Uh, I want to say yes, that's the case. I don't think it's spawned yet. I'm pretty sure if I say no, it's not going to be there. That's my hope. We're, we're pretty well screwed otherwise. We have no chance of killing a Jabberwock. <laughs> I'm going to say not interested. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not even going to ask him to, to travel with me. Nah, I'm not, not even going to do anything with this NPC. Not looking like he has much of anything anyway. So, same as before. Nothing there this time. <laughs> Still laughing about that surprise Hulk. That was hilarious. Things were going too smooth. Alright, um, this time with where we're tucked in, I don't really think it's going to make much of a difference. Let's just take it all down. Alright, so, um, I damaged my stick already. <laughs> First or second swing damaged it. Oh, yeah. Uh, take it apart. 
String, yes. Pick apart. String, yes. are done. Fab one. So lockpicks, hammer, screwdriver, and crowbar are all finished. Uh, that's right. Make shift bandages. That gets me to tailoring one. Failed the wooden needle, did I? Thank <laughs> you. 